Good morning children. Today we are going to discuss about the lesson Human Geography of Tamil Nadu. Human Geography refers to the study of ways of development of human societies and their operation in relation to their physical environment. Human society means it is a group of people who share a common lifestyle and organization. Political scientists categorize societies based on political structure into bands, tribes, chiefdoms and states. This chapter focuses on the distribution of population and utilization of different resources in Tamil Nadu. Natural resources. What is meant by natural resources? A resources is anything that is used to satisfy human needs. That is called as resources. Natural resources. Natural resources of the earth are air, water, soil, mineral, vegetation, forest and animal wealth. All natural resources are responsible for built up the sustainable economy of a country. Natural resources such as landforms, rivers, soil, natural vegetation, water and wildlife. These resources are useful only when they are utilized. Human beings use the resources using their intelligence and skill. Thus, the human beings are the most significant resources on the earth's surface. The next side ending is agriculture. What is meant by agriculture? What is the importance of the agriculture? I like to, I would like to start with two line poem in Tamil with in Tirukural written by Tiruvalluvar. Surandrum yer pinnadu ulaham adanal ulandum ulave thalai. The meaning. Palver muyarchigalukku pinnum ulaham yer in pinnirkiradu. Adalal yengu sutriyum ulavu tholile thalayaya tholil. Agriculture is a primary and basic activity in India. In India, in India's population, 50% of the people is dependent on agriculture. Our country is a agriculture land. We always stand behind the agriculture. The word agriculture is a Latin word. Agri plus cultura. That means agri means field. Cultura means growing plants. It is a primary activity which produces the food we eat and raw material for industries. Our country is a agricultural land. 60% of the people belong to agriculture, the background. Agriculture is the backbone of our country. It acts as a major source of income in many countries along with India. More than 50% of the population is dependent on agriculture. Agriculture is a practice of farming that includes the cultivation of crops, rearing of animals, birds, forestry, fisheries and other relative related activities. Agriculture is a major occupation in Tamil Nadu. More than 65% of the people depends upon this sector for their living. Agriculture provides employment for rural people on a large scale. There is a strong link between agriculture and economic growth. Paddy, millets and pulses are the principal food crops of the state. Sugarcane, cotton, sunflower, coconut, cashew, chillies, gingilly, crownut, tea, coffee, cardamom and rubber are the major commercial crops. The next side ending is geographical determinants of agriculture. Landform, climate, soil and irrigation are the important factors that determine the Growth of agriculture. Land. Landform. Land is considered an important resource as it provides habitation to the wide variety of flora and fauna. It is used by human beings for various purposes such as agriculture, mining, building and roads etc. In Tamil Nadu is a land of diverse landscape comprising of hills, plateaus and plains. Among the plains are most suitable. The plains area are only the suitable for the agriculture. The plains with the alluvial soil enhances agricultural productivity. Example, the plains of river Kaveri. 
Agriculture in the plateau is moderate and it's poor on the hills. The next side heading is climate. What is meant by climate? Long term patterns of wind, temperature, humidity, precipitation, etc. in the area. It is influenced by latitude, altitude, distance from the sea. The Tamil Nadu is situated in the tropical zone which is nearer to the equator. The state experiences a tropical climate. Hence, the temperature in Tamil Nadu is relatively high almost throughout the year. So, only the tropical crops are cultivated. Water is another limiting factor of agriculture. Northeast monsoon is a major source of rainfall of Tamil Nadu. Therefore, the major cropping season begins with the season the rainfall in the season and the irrigation facilities affect agriculture to a large extent. Soil Soil is one of the most essential elements of agriculture. It provides essential minerals and nutrition for the growth of crops and vegetation. The regions of river valleys and the hostel plains are the most agriculturally productive regions of the state as they are covered with fertile and alluvial soil. What are the types of farming? The regions of agriculture and where they practiced in Tamil Nadu. The farming type, there are three types. Subsistence intensive agriculture. The second one is plantation agriculture. The third one is mixed farming. The area practiced. The first subsistence intensive agriculture practiced all over Tamil Nadu and plantation agriculture, hill slopes of eastern and the western guards, mixed farming, banks of river, kaveri and thin pannai, irrigation. Monsoon rainfall in the state is highly irregular, further it is seasonal, hence irrigation becomes necessary for successful cultivation of crops in the state. In the dry regions, rain-fed crops are cultivated.